Now we will take a look at the contrapositive of a statement. Again, we're working with if P, then Q. Now the contrapositive is going to be the statement if not Q, then not P. You switch the Q and the P, but you introduce a negation, a not. Let's take a look at the same two examples from the pretest. If it rains, then I get wet. The negation, or sorry, the contrapositive, If I do not get wet, then it does not rain. We switched the get wet and the rain. We also added the extra does not. Second example, our contrapositive, our original statement is if 2x plus 1 equals 5, and x equals 2, or x equals 3, hypothesis, conclusion, and the contrapositive would be if x does not equal 2 and x does not equal 3, then 2x plus 1 does not equal 5. Notice what's going on here. The negation of 2x plus 1 equals 5 is fairly obviously not equals 2. Something a little bit more subtle is happening here. It's not x does not equal 2 or x does not equal 3. It's and. This is an illustration of Morgan's clause, which I will write informally as not a or b is the same as not a and neither A nor B, not A and it is not B. Likewise, not A and B. It is not true that both A and B is true. Either A is false or B is false. You only need one to break down the and to fail make the or fail, they both have to break. Notice that the contrapositive is always going to be true when the original statement is true. If x isn't 2 and x isn't 3, then when you multiply whatever x is by 2 and add 1, you're not going to get 5. You're not going to get 7 either, but that's not what the statement is asking. So, the statement and it's contrapositive. Are either both true or both false? Called logically equivalent. It's the logic form of equals. Either both true or both false. And what that means is that the contrapositive is a handy stand-in from the original statement. So, they sometimes will prove statement actually 
showing contrapositive is true. And of course, when you're writing this proof, if you're going to use a dirty trick like this, you should really alert the reader saying, we will use the contrapositive so that they have some idea of where you're going with your proof. That is the contrapositive.